Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Friday, the 26th of August. Alabama's weather, eh, just not that interesting uh, for the next few days. Dry, a little cooler uh, by Sunday and Monday. Of course, Irene is the big focus, and we'll uh, take a look at a whole lot of data on that uh, hurricane for our friends on the East Coast. So let's go and take a look. First off, locally, again, things are nice and quiet this morning. These are the Skycam images. First off, downtown Fayette at the insane hour of 5 o'clock. Not a lot of people out there at 5 o'clock in Fayette. Pretty much the same thing in Haleyville up in northwest Alabama's Winston County. And down south, things are quiet on the Alabama Gulf Coast. That's the uh, Gulf Shores Sky Cam overlooking the hangout in the public beach. Water vapor satellite shot, uh, old heat ridge in place. Irene, of course, off to the uh, east and uh, moving north and Again, we'll kind of focus on that this morning. It was hot yesterday. Goodness, upper 90s again for a lot of folks. Still triple-digit heat out in Texas. Nice and cool up in uh, New England and the Great Lakes. And that troughiness up there is what's going to kind of keep Irene from just uh, you know coming inland for a big distance. It's going to keep it hugging the East Coast, the classic East Coast runner. And you bet we've got watches and mornings all the way from uh, North Carolina up to uh, – New England, hurricane watches and mornings, tropical storm watches and mornings. Convective outlook, no uh, organized severe weather expected today and tomorrow as well. Of course, around here will be dry. There's the rain for the next five days. Nothing here. This is valid through Tuesday evening at uh, 7 o'clock. And, of course, the big numbers are on the upper Atlantic coast because of Irene. And flooding is one of the two big concerns. Uh, the, the big impact will be flooding and uh, down trees and power lines and power outages. Uh, this is not going to be the kind of storm that's going to knock down buildings and do a lot of structural damage. It's just it's not going to be that strong. Uh, but flooding, you bet, is going to be one issue. There's the Atlantic Basin. Irene, of course, is the big story. The other system out there is Tropical Depression Number 10 that could become Tropical Storm Jose later today. There's a look at uh, Irene this morning. Top winds have decreased a little bit. Uh, the system has weakened a tad. Uh, winds are down to 110 miles an hour. And, and again, it looks like, uh, you know, you can see that the outflow is restricted a little bit in the western semicircle. A little bit of shear, a little bit of dry air involved there. So uh, this thing could very well have peaked in intensity. Uh, but again, it, it, it'll be very significant as it comes up toward the outer banks. We'll peek at the uh, modeling. I thought I'd give you, you know, kind of a higher resolution look uh, coming off a of Google Earth map. And again, the consensus has the thing coming across the Outer Banks uh, tomorrow evening. And then, if anything, the models have shifted a little back to the east. Uh, they've got it coming in, uh, most of them over uh, Long Island, not uh, New York City, but Long Island Sunday afternoon up into uh, Connecticut. And then uh, passing up toward uh, or just uh, uh, west of Boston Sunday evening. The intensity models, uh, again, more than likely it's uh, peaking in intensity right now and it goes downhill after that. And by the time it reaches New England, it will be either a weakening one or a tropical storm. And, of course, you know, with all the population up there, you can't downplay that too much because, again, flooding and uh, power outages will be a great concern. But again, this is not going to be the kind of, you know, hurricane that's going to just blow down buildings everywhere. That That's not going to happen. Uh, there's the official track coming from the Hurricane Center. Uh, they've still got it a Category 3 coming up over the Outer Banks, which is possible. Might be a 2, whatever. It'll be a, a big blow for those folks uh, tomorrow night. And then uh, a weakening system coming up toward uh, Long Island and then uh, weakening to a tropical storm uh, over New England. Sunday night. And I'll show you the uh, uh, RPM here in just a few minutes. It's a pretty interesting look. That's a very high-resolution model. Uh, next, we go to Tropical Depression 10 out there in the eastern Atlantic. Uh, disorganized, and again, that's just no issue. It's drifting northwest. It will not be a problem for land. But it should become Tropical Storm Jose. All right, this is this evening at 7 o'clock. This is the OZGFS at 500 millibars. Heat ridge to the 
West Irene to the east, and of course, we're going to be dry for a while. We know that. Uh, no rain this weekend. Uh, there's Irene this evening that's off the uh, coast of South Carolina. Uh, so let's uh, look at the RPM for our friends in the northeast. Uh, we'll start. This is Sunday morning at uh, 9 o'clock eastern. And I will say this, the RPM is a little farther east than the NHC track. And this is just one model run, but again, it typically does a pretty good job. But you can see it's well uh, east of Chesapeake Bay, uh, Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. The uh, worst of the weather in association with this, well to the east of Washington, D.C., well to the east of Baltimore. Um, we'll go to Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock. It's accelerating northeast. And again, see 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock eastern. And notice how the RPM has the center southeast of Long Island. And, of course, understand, you know, pretty large circulation. You'll, you'll still have very strong winds on Long Island. But, again, the really worst impacts would be east of Manhattan and east of the major boroughs of New York City, coming up into the coast of uh, Connecticut and Rhode Island. And then Sunday evening at 7, it's right over Cape Cod. Um, and at this point, it should be a, a more than likely a tropical storm. And, again, the... A lot of the other models want to bring the center west of Boston. The RPM wants to run it just east of Boston. Whatever. There'll be a lot of wind and rain up there. You know, you just want to focus on the center point, and then it's out of here. We'll go back to the GFS. This is Sunday evening at 7 p.m. Central, 8 Eastern. It's got it uh, north of Boston. Is it, It's starting to accelerate as it's in the westerlies. And, of course, we're dry as a bone down here. Uh, there's Monday. Uh, Irene is out. We're dry. You know, one nice thing about it, we'll have that northerly flow coming off the backside, so we should cool down a little bit. You know, not a lot. Don't look to, to break out your jackets and sweaters here, but just maybe uh, Monday morning, some of the cooler valleys up in northeast Alabama could just maybe have a chance at reaching the upper 50s. Most folks will be in the, the 60s. Should be pretty comfortable. And highs on Monday around 90, and there's Tuesday. Wednesday, some evidence moisture creeps back in here, but not much. This just doesn't hold out a whole lot of hope for widespread rain, maybe a shower. Thursday looks pretty dry, and a week from today, 588 ridging right over us. Trough in the northwest, and again, dry. We need some rain around here. We'll check the end of the forecast. Uh, this is 9-10, September the 10th. Look at the trough over the east. Uh, that's a pretty high amplitude look, and uh, that would show some nice continental air getting down and through here. Not a lot of rain, of course, it dries the bone still, but at least uh, maybe some hope of getting a little drier and cooler air at that point. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.